safety first. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm going to be telling you about this little fiasco we had yesterday. And essentially this is how to test a vent solenoid or emissions vapor vent solenoid. Here we are. This one is off of a 2012 Chevy van, uh, Express van I believe they are. Yes, Chevy Express van. Uh, it's used for Amazon delivery packaging and stuff or packages. So this solenoid is used a lot. Uh, what happens is when the vehicle is turned off or when there's no voltage applied to the actual solenoid, this is open, allowing air or vapors in the emission system or the fuel system to be released into the atmosphere. So you can see there's no power applied. You saw the dust, that was perfect for the video. <coughs> so with no power applied, you could breathe in and out of this. This commonly gets plugged. Um, so in the situation that we were in, we replaced it anyways, even though this thing tested good. How did it test good? So this will be the same for any other, almost any other uh, emissions vapor vent solenoid. You could apply voltage to the connector right here. You can see those two little prongs inside there. And that will shut your solenoid. What I did to test it the other day was real quick. I had this 9 volt uh, harness. I put the 9 volt battery on it. I touched the solenoid and it clicked. So, gave myself a little more time and I came up with this little momentary harness. It's got two little speaker connectors on it. You can see the momentary switch and a 9 volt harness. So, 9 volt. I'm going to put it on here. Now, I'm going to plug it onto the solenoid. It doesn't matter which side of the solenoid you plug this onto, it will work. And you can see, that's the way I wore the gloves. Got one on. Let's get the other one. You can see, hopefully you can see inside there. They're both plugged in. And when the 9 volts is applied, all you're listening for is the solenoid to open or shut. Real easy. If it's on the vehicle, that's how you would test it if you were going to make one of these. But listen. Essentially, on the solenoids, if you get that clicking noise, you're probably good. If you're having an intermittent fuel problem or fueling problem like he had, he had over 130,000 miles on the vehicle, uh, stop and go, he said up to 50, 70 times a day. Uh, so this solenoid is being used a lot. So we just replaced it anyways. But you can see, watch when I blow on it, get the air coming out, and I'll apply the 9 volts. You see how it got stuck right there when it was opening? That's why we go to, we just replaced this one because he had an intermittent fuel problem, fueling problem. But you can see again, blowing it. When 9 volts is applied, you'll hear it open and shut. So in this case, it's old. We replaced it. You can see the dust coming out of it. But that is how you could test a emissions vapor vent solenoid using a 9 volt battery. And hopefully explains a little bit on how it works. If you have any questions, make sure you ask below. If you need to know where your emissions vapor vent solenoid is, make sure you look for or look for your vehicle in my video library. I have like 500 videos, a ton of them are emissions locations. Shows you where they're at, gives you a starting point. You could test these on the vehicle. You can't probably blow in it or suck on it if it's on the vehicle, but you could test if you have the clicking. If you don't hear any clicking, for sure this thing is bad. So, if you want one of these harnesses with a momentary switch and everything, I'm gonna make a few and put them on my website. There should be a link in the description for that as well. If not, there should be one very soon. I'll be selling that for like 15, 20 bucks. It takes a little bit of time to solder it up and do everything. So like, subscribe, and share, ask questions, tell everybody about me, and I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.